Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. <laughs> How are you? How are we, my darlings? How are we in these Puff Daddy streets? That's what we want to know. Darlings, when I tell you, we're going to be doing update after update after update because I'm out here in England. Yes, my darlings. And we are six hours ahead of you. So I wake up to fresh news and this puppy is going to be updated on a daily. So before I start, my darlings, are we living and loving this fabulous K and Oli outfit? Guys, you are fabulous. You're sending me your brand and I said what I am here to promote it. This is gorgeous It is a wrap around on the top so you can wrap it around strapless like I've done it today You can wrap it over your shoulders. You can wrap it over one shoulder You can do anything you want you just slip it on like so and then the rest is for you to be as creative as you want on the upswing Girlfriend is coming to Manchester. Yes, my darlings. I am coming to Manchester on the 5th of October and I will be at the fabulous, most fabulous Nuri Theatre. What for, my darling? I am there for a conference. She leads for Legacy Conference. I will be there, my darlings. Fumination, you're going to see me in where? In Manchester. A lot of you are already asking me. The tickets are below and you can buy a ticket as cheap as as 25 pounds and up and I am going to be there I am going to see all of you and I am still thinking that most probably I will do a step and repeat with you guys as well wouldn't you just love that if you've come all the way let me see what I can do and I'll be having different heels on so that I can really talk with each and every single one of you congratulations my darlings to the leads of legacy family this is such an honor the other guest speakers it's an honor to be in your presence and it's going to be a fantastic day yes baby moving along diddy has been denied bail diddy threw all of his family members passports and said can i get bail he even gave his mother janice's passport can i get bail oop denied 50 million oop denied he even came out here in these streets and said you know what i will be around no women if you give me this bail please absolutely not so uh we made a bail appeal uh to judge carter uh it did not go our way um the fight continues uh we're not we're, we're not we're not giving up by a long shot i told mr combs um, i'm going to try and get his case to trial as quickly as possible I'm going to try and minimize the amount of time he spends in very, very difficult and I believe inhumane uh, housing conditions in the, in the special housing unit of the Metropolitan Detention Facility. And I'm going to do everything that I can uh, to move his case as quickly as possible. I understand that the, the government has a great amount of electronic devices that they have to download and provide to me. But everything's on the government's timetable, nothing's on the defendant's timetable, and they're going to have to accommodate me and him and give us a, a, a quick trial, uh, and I'm going to be pushing for that. Um, he's, he's ready, he's focused, uh, he has been ready to defend this case since he first found out about this case. Nothing has changed from his perspective. I obviously would much prefer to fight this case with him out of jail, and we are going to try to bring that about um, through additional legal process. Um, but wherever he is, his resolve is the same. Um, he believes he's innocent. Uh, I believe he's innocent, and we're going to fight this case with all of our might until we don't have to fight any longer. Um, I'm not really going to take any questions, um, but at this point, we are, we are moving forward, uh, we're preparing for trial as we speak, and we are considering our next steps and, and appealing uh, the court's ruling to me today. All right. Thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. There's an AI picture that was forwarded to me, and I had to bring it right here. An imaginary vision of the thousand baby oil bottles that were found in Diddy's home by, by Homeland Security. 
Homeland Security really did a whopper in those houses. You have to understand how much money it costs for Homeland Security to come out here in these streets. They just don't come out for nobody. They could have easily told the LAPD, go and take care of one or two things. But they didn't. Why? Because, like I said in the other episode, Didi's hands are in all kinds of pies in trafficking s workers from one place to another from one state to another all of these federal charges he is behind bars gling cling and i truly believe i truly believe that this Didi case is going to be the biggest of our time for those of you that are a little bit older you saw how everybody stood still to listen to the verdict of OJ. Times Square, because Selena had just passed away. 1995, for those of you that remember, I was only 25, I was a little baby. And that was what it was in those days. Cat Williams came out here, and we have to understand the magnitude of this. Cat Williams came out to Shannon Sharp, said this is the year of reckoning. Everything gonna come out. All of these uh, big, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. And they have no more these. Amen, amen. Why? Because Diddy is going to drag Hollywood down with him. Why? Because Diddy was and is Hollywood. He was acting out there. He was doing his music out there. He was everywhere. He even had the key of which has been revoked to New York City. Everybody is shaking because we are finding out, and I'm not shocked, the tips that were found by Homeland Security. There are workers, S workers on it, but there are also other people on the videos in the videos wow diddy was ahead of the game when we had the lockdown he started to have virtual activities so you can see s workers on tapes of which they found in his house no wonder hollywood is quiet and shaking everybody and their mama is coming out and I want to say this, you know, because you know what I deserve. I really deserve. I see why I did not make it in Hollywood. I see it now. My brother pointed it out to me the other day. He said, I didn't go to the parties. I have never been a party goer. I've always been a homebody. And so when I was invited and I was invited many a time, I didn't go. If you saw me out where I took pictures with celebs and stuff like that, we were on a red carpet for an event that finished around 8 o'clock. I was at a public space. I never went to anybody's house. I didn't do it because I did not drink alcohol. I have never drunk alcohol. I used to, back in the day, I would have, um, what do you call this pink one? I've forgotten. Uh, um, Ula! Bellini, there you go, thank you. I would have a Bellini, and even with that, I had banging headaches, so I didn't go. Because I'm out there from Hollywood, and I saw all of this go down, in the sense that I saw people go to parties. We had the white parties. I went to the white parties in the Hamptons. As a matter of fact, when John F. Kennedy got missing that weekend, where he ultimately passed away with his wife and his sister-in-law, we were going to one of Didi's white parties. But there were so many people, there were so many things going on, that I don't think you could have like a big straight-up orgy right there. Not at all. And I'm strong. I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. And I'm not doing any of that. So I just stepped away and I was like, nah. Upon reflection, when I look back, there are certain celebrities, singers, songwriters, artists. They sing one sad song after the other. And now I know it's not heartbreak. It just might be something else. I'm getting wind that Puffy used to beat up his mama. Yes, he did. Ooh. And, you know, his father was gangster. He was part of the gangs, 100%. Go into Google, you see it all there. He passed away when Puffy was three years old. And, you know, I always pay attention to all that you see. A lot of you in the comment section had one or two things to say. And I said, you know what? Yeah, mama, you are absolutely, absolutely what? You are absolutely right.
Coco Bronze 7587 said, that's terrible. I feel sorry for Sean Combs's children. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Daddy had no respect for his mother. This is by Natalie Nurse 3336. No respect for his mother. He used to slap her. That is where it begins. Oh, wow, mama. This is intense. Danita Towns. And she says, it is written, the sins of the father are visited upon the sons on the third and fourth generations. Wow. Puffy's father, then Puff, and then his sons. That's the third generation. God does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the children and their children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation. Exodus 34, 7. Wow, 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 wow. Samraya, 492. For him to do that to women and men, doesn't he realize the beautiful daughters and sons, the sins of the father fall down on his children. Now how would he feel if people got hold of his children? I sure pray that Kimora protects those girls. I pray that the Lord Yeshua will have mercy on them and he protects them all. His sons can be turned around for good and prayfully they see that being guys is not it more queer god will use the nobody the supposed peasant to pull down the mighty it's in the bible go find it his word will not turn void and i'm under the impression that she's talking about cassie cassie just pulled the curtains down and for the first time publicly on a public platform we got to see through the glass and we got to see past the smoke and the mirrors of what we have been told. And then we have little Diddy Dirty. <laughs> and she was contacted 54 times. He also contacted Cassie. I said, Cassie, I got six kids. That was before the little one was born, the little girl. Come on, do something because the police are here. He has been doing this for years and he has been getting away with it. Well, he's in jail. He's been denied bail and he should not be given any kind of bail because it's not so much for me, I think, him being a flight risk as opposed to him threatening witnesses. This is why Cassie had nowhere to go. Where was she supposed to go? Everywhere she went, she fell into one of his people. She was trapped upon trapped upon trapped. Janice, the mother, knows a lot about this because you know what? She was living this with her husband. And when the husband passed away, or Diddy's daddy, Diddy became the man. That is why that kind of relationship, a lot of dynamics between single mother and son, becomes where the boy does step up. He has to be the man of the house. His lawyer is out there in the street talking about Cassie was cheating on him, the Diddy that is, for years, and that she was also volatile. Well, guess what? We find out that there was an S worker in the room of which was filmed and recorded and released to us when he was chasing Cassie in the hotel room and we saw how it shockingly came to our full cognizance that this man really abused women. There was an S worker there, men and women. And he had thousands and thousands of baby oils. And he destroyed hotel rooms because of the amount of oil. You know what a spot of oil does to a couch. As much as you try to sponge it out, it's going to take a minute and still you get a stain. Can you imagine what that will look like in a hotel room? But he had the money. He had the resources of which he has to come and make bail. Deny him bail because these people need justice. A lot of celebrities, a lot of reality stars, all of them are shaking in their booties because they either supported it, partook in it, they turned a blind eye, yup, 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 
or they were right there with him to say, yeah, let's get this going on. And they continued to do business with him. He wants to sell his plane. He wants to sell the house for this case. But remember, this can go on for about two years and I will be here. We're going to go live. Yup, yup, yup. We're going to go live when we need to go live. So sometimes I might just come in my gown and I'll be like, guys, what is this? I will jump right out of bed and we'll be watching this together because once the trial starts, it's on and popping out here in these streets. Um, everybody, I look back, I really look back and remember when Didi would say black excellence. And all the guys, all the celebs would hold their bottles and glasses up in salute. I'm wondering whether these were the dons, whether these were the guys that also knew, partook. And this right here is something that's going to go down because once Didi realizes that he's going to get 10, 15, 20, maybe even life, he's going to start singing like a canary. Get ready to be shocked because we do not know anything. This is just scratching the surface. Of course, his lawyer has to come out here and say, we'll fight, we'll fight because he has to deny as much as he can so that he gets as little as possible and he is in maybe house arrest but this is disastrous yesterday i said it was sad now i say to myself you know what forget all of that get justice for the victims get justice for the victims because something ran true and i can't remember on what news outlet i saw it on but he's been accused of beating, abusing physically, emotionally, mentally, in every way, shape, and form. So the way he treated Cassie, of which we saw, that's what he did with S workers. I mean, human trafficking back and forth. It's like the slave trade. This man is a monster. This man is a monster. And Hollywood is very quiet. And a lot of people knew, no, everything has to come out. Everything has to, uh, has to be done, has to clean up Hollywood. You have to clean up Hollywood. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my baby, beautiful Ula, who came and said, honey, boo-boo, come let me marry you. And I left Hollywood. And my friends at that time said, Fumi, you're crazy to leave Hollywood when you are just about to pop off because I was doing very well. I was on Ugly Betty. I was on the number one television show as well as the number one film at that time, Jennifer Lopez. Um, um, monster in law, <laughs> the irony, and you know, it was coming up, had my agents, everything. But I lived and loved Ula, and I said, For me, your talent goes with you. Hollywood has to be cleaned out, whistle cleaned out, and then I'll come back and we'll see what we can do. But yes, everybody has to go down. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, my darlings. All of my love. Do -do 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 -do.